Hey guys, today we're going to have a little look back at the uh, PlayStation Portable, better known as the uh, PSP. I remember when the PSP first came out, there was a lot of um, hype for it because it was uh, highly anticipated. It was said to offer um, PlayStation 2 class graphics in a small portable form factor, and it was also one of the uh, first. Um, handheld consoles to offer uh, Wi-Fi uh, web access as well. Now um, this here is my uh, PSP 1000 and I bought it um, way back in um, 2005 on my um, second or third visit to Japan. The uh, games on the uh, PSP were released on um, small mini optical discs which were called um, UMD discs. Here you are for example, there's the optical format. And um, not only could you get the games on them as well, you could also get full feature length Hollywood movies. For example, here is uh, Spider-Man 2. Now um, I had um, a lot of fond memories um, tinkering with this um, PSP. Um, I put lots of um, homebrew apps and emulators on it at the time. For example on this one we have these games and apps on here. And of course we've got Map This GPS Edition which took a small GPS receiver which I bought as well and here it is you basically plug it in at the top here on the uh, mini USB port and you could load your uh, map on here with a bit of a hack and they go roaming with it and it works pretty well for the time being all that was uh, necessary of course because back then it was a uh, time before smartphones um, with the good operating systems, systems were widely available and they had become the all-powerful beasts they are today. Back then most phones were pretty basic, for example the uh, Motorola's uh, which I had uh, at the time. Now onto what I wanted to show you. I came across this PSP E1000. Let me zoom out. On, um, I've seen this on various marketplaces here in the UK and I always thought it was a fake Chinese knockoff uh, clone but uh, oh no my friends this is no knockoff this is a PSP Street E1000 and um, it was only released in power regions during the end of the uh, PSP's uh, life cycle uh, for a hundred um, pounds and um, it was announced at the same time as the uh, PlayStation Vita, that's why it was uh, a bit under the radar. Now, compared to the original PSP 1000, the E has uh, twice the amount of RAM at 64 megabytes. And, however, this is a, um, this PSP is a budget model, so it's missing a few bits of um, hardware. For one, the speaker's mono, compared to the uh, 1000's dual speakers. Also, the um, infrared port is missing at the top there, which um, you can see here is on the 1000. Also, the weight is a bit lighter at only 223 grams compared to uh, 280 grams of the uh, PSP 1000s. Even though it doesn't sound like a lot, it makes it um, much more comfortable to hold and play. Um, the battery inside it is also um, non-user replaceable, so let's have a look at that. Can you see? So it's not easily changeable. And um, also, the uh, screen Although it's better quality, the viewing angles are not as good 
I don't know if it comes across on the camera, but let me just turn off these lights and see if we can get a better look at the uh, screens. Now, compare it to the 1000s, as you can see the screen angles are better. But, it's not a huge difference. The actual quality of the display is quite good. Right, anyway, that about wraps it up for um, my latest uh, tech acquisition. Let me know if you've got a PSP Street and what do you think about it. Which model of the PSP is your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio for now.